947 on this Saturday morning. Time for your daily dose of Imagine It. It comes part of this complete breakfast with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. What's happening? Well, at the Science Center, we have this exhibit called Grossology, mm -hmm. the impolite science oh of the human body. Right. So let's just talk about pimples and pus and snot, things like that. I'm familiar with those. <clears throat> so today I thought we'd talk about digestion. Okay. okay. And Fair warning, I think we all know <laughs> digestion can pretty much only end one way. Ah. So if you're easily grossed out, you might want to step away for a second. Okay? <laughs> Terrific. Terrific. So what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about digestion. The first step is in your mouth. Uh -huh. Okay. And so That's the best part, really. What I'm going to do is, and you're going to help me out here, we're going to take okay. our food and our fingers are going to be our teeth. Okay? Oh, okay. We're just going to tear this food up. You want because, to do yeah, all this? Throw it all in the bowl. We're going to just mm, yeah. tear it all apart. And just uh, mush it a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Just crunch, crush crunch, it all crunch. up. Throw, throw the glass of milk in too. That'll help okay. us. Okay. Wash it down? Yeah, it'll help wash it down. The whole thing? Yeah. Toss right, the whole thing. Right, Eight right. ounces of whole milk oh, there. Boy. Ooh, look. Got a fried egg. We'll hey, toss that in. Hey, banana. Yeah, more banana. Throw the whole bowl in. All right. All right. So in your mouth, saliva starts to break down some of the starch. Now you got to help me here. You got to dig in. Yeah. It starts breaking down starches, okay, so they can move through your esophagus down to your stomach. All right? Okay. So this is looking pretty good. We're getting kind of all chopped up there and whatnot. I'm getting kind of hungry. That's okay. Now, but don't eat it yet. Okay. This is our stomach, all right? <laughs> the next step would be the stomach. And the stomach has a little bit of acid in it, so add a little vinegar. That's our model acid of sorts. And then we're going to add the food in. So we're just going to plop that in there. <laughs> and what the stomach does is it helps churn up the food, okay? Now, a lot of people think that that acid is there to digest the food. Not really. It's just there to keep the enzymes that are in your stomach working at the correct pH level. Oh, really? It also kills off a little bad bacteria that may come in with the food, okay? And so your stomach could churn up for maybe one, two, three hours or so. And then the next step in the process is going to be the small intestine, all right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to take this food. <clears throat> Now, Tony, your small intestine is about 22 feet long. I've got a model here that's about, I don't know, three foot long. Okay. All right? So what you need to do is open up the top of the intestine here and, for me. And uh, let's just say this is not an actual intestine. This no, no, is no, no. A, a stocking. So you go ahead and hold that open for me, and we're going to pour the food in. This is where it could get messy. So the food goes into the intestines, all right? And the liver will actually add a little bile. So we're going to add some bile mm. and pancreatic juice. Well, wait, right. what is that? For real? That's not bile, is it? Uh, it's model bile. It's model bile. Okay. okay. Now, you see the stuff coming out? Yeah. That are all, that's all the nutrients that will be absorbed in your small intestine. Okay. Because okay, that's where most of the nutrients in your food are absorbed, are in the small intestine. Now, remember, I said it's 22 feet, so we're simulating the food moving through the small intestine, probably going to take a couple hours to move through that small intestine, mm -hmm. all the while nutrients coming out, okay? <laughs> delicious now, nutrients. Delicious. Now, the <laughs> next step, just imagine this now becomes the large intestine, okay. about seven foot long in your body. In the large intestine, one of the major roles is to absorb some of the leftover water. So we'll just squeeze out any leftover moisture and get it out of that. And it's also kind of, you could think of it as like a storage repository for the wastes, because this is all the stuff that cannot be digested in your body, ah, okay? Yes, we know. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> And what we're going to do is we're actually going to let this out of the body. Okay, okay you can make so your own sound effects at home. We're just going to like <laughs> let this come right on out, okay? And so as that waste product comes out of your body... You get a granola bar. You get something that... <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting because if you look at it, some of this high fiber cereal mm -hmm. that was in there was non-digestible fiber and that oh. passes right through the body. So you can actually see some of the blueberries that were in there, a little bit of the cereal. <laughs> Um, and, and that whole process can take up to 30 to 40 hours to get through the large intestine. Everybody's body's different, sure. but um, that's digestion from mouth to wow. exit. How about that? And you can do it all in your own kitchen. That is <laughs> totally can. tubular. Thanks very much, Carl Nelson. Let's sure. take a look at the times here at the Imagination Station. If you want to get grossed out, you can head down there all summer. Carl will be cooking up stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks again. We're going to go from here over to sports.